Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. All right, that's enough, Parker. You're out of here. Enough with that type of talking to other people. Gotta chill out. You gotta chill out if you want to chat in the Scarecrow streams. Off to a great start. <laughs> How's everybody doing, though? Hope you're all doing great. And uh, I saw somebody ask what we've got on the bison grind so far. So far, I've managed to get a piebald level 4 and then a piebald female. That's been our two trophies so far. So, uh, yeah, decent luck as of now. Hey, Myro, how's it going? Guys, it doesn't matter who was first. Y'all can stop arguing over who was first. You're all here, and that's all that matters. Doesn't matter who was here first. You're all here for the stream, and that is the only thing that matters. Oh, no, Cookie, that's not good. We're going to try the 338 today and see how this ends up working. Considering they move so slow, I feel like it's actually not going to be too bad. I mean, yeah, that guy died pretty quickly. I live in Oregon, Connor. Kills your great one red here and 450 kills. Not bad. That is not bad at all. Yeah, I saw Johnny. I saw that yours is going wild. I haven't shot any Euro Bison since the last stream, so you kind of already know how my grind's going. Let's go run this coast while we wait for them to get here. I'm shooting everything, JBT. Not sure, Ugwe. I don't really do the missions. Never really been a fan of the missions. Well, what are you doing, sports buff? What map are you on? How many zones are you hunting? What grinding method are you using? Are you shooting just does or, or not just does? Are you shooting bucks and does? Are you shooting just bucks? Are you shooting certain bucks? Like, what what type of grinding are you doing? Because a thousand kills is definitely not any type of abnormal number. As sometimes it takes two or three thousand to get a whitetail great one, sometimes even more. So if you're at a thousand, I, I wouldn't say you necessarily need to change up anything, right? As long as you're shooting bucks, you got a chance at getting the great one. Hey, American Gaming Kid, how's it going? Let's see how this works. Will the 338 be quick enough? I think it'll be decent. I mean, in that type of situation, no matter what gun I'm using, it would be tough because that guy is facing away from us. Thank you, Caitlin. I'm glad you like it. How you doing? I'm doing good, Hunter. I'm doing good. Hey, Jennifer, it's going well. Hope all of you guys are having a great day also. I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, Way of the Hunter is getting a new map. They finally announced what it is. The first map added to Way of the Hunter is uh, going to be an Alaska map. So that's pretty interesting. I'll probably cover it in a video tomorrow talking about what they've shown off. But, uh, yeah, didn't have enough time to get one made this morning. And I already had the video that I posted today edited and ready to go, so went ahead and uploaded that. But, uh, tomorrow I'll probably cover the Way of the Hunter trailer. It looks really good. There's gonna be a bunch of new species. There's going to be the Roosevelt Elk. There's going to be... Um, I forgot the name of the bison. I think it's the wood bison. They're going to have the wood bison there. We're going to get apparently the Sitka deer, which 
I I don't know if that's confirmed. I, I heard a few people say the Sitka deer, but I didn't actually see any Sitka deer in the trailer, so hard to say. And then I also saw, I believe, mountain goats there. Looks like we were also getting um, foxes on there, the red fox. So there is going to be some repeats, but looks like it's going to be new species as well. Uh, because Alaska is a very popular uh, place to hunt, uh, Myro. There's a reason that Yukon's one of the most popular maps in Call of the Wild. Alaska is a very popular place for hunting. Not to mention Way of the Hunter has, you know, only two maps currently, so they can really go for whatever maps they want early on. There's still a lot of time for them to add other locations, you know? It's still super early. What map is this? Hirschfelden. No, not Sika Happy Days. Uh, for those that didn't, that don't know this, Sitka is a subspecies of Colombian blacktail deer. They're called the Sitka blacktail deer. Sika deer are a completely different species, like a completely different deer species. Sitka blacktail are basically a smaller variation of a blacktail deer. That is what I have heard is being added with the Alaska map in uh, Way of the Hunter, which is honestly really cool. I don't know why we don't have Sitka deer in Call of the Wild. Because they're, they've always been a species that I've loved from the Hunter Classic, and I wish that they would add it to Call of the Wild. It's nice to see Way of the Hunters doing it, though. It's already on console, Cookie, but it's only on current generation consoles, not last gen. Yeah, Johnny, it's just, it's unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate, you know, but it happens. Can't have everything, I guess. Just like I'd love Coosteer, but we don't have those either. Nice little level two there. I don't know, is this like a big enough difference in kill time for it to really matter? I honestly feel like I should go back to the 300. The 338 kills them at the, about the same speed, it seems. But just less bullets. I don't know. I don't know. It's all about just finding the most consistent spots, uh, Uguay. Think of it this way, with um, with my latent whitetail grind, I got about 70 zones. Only about like 20 of those, maybe 30 at the most, are consistent zones. The rest of them are so inconsistent and late to their zones, and it's just a matter of figuring out which are the good zones. And then hunting those as your uh, main areas. Uh, let's go back to the 300. 338 not really working out. Twenty-two handgun, and where's the bow? We need the bow. Let's go with the recurve this time. Beautiful. Are there no males here? It looks like no males this time around. All of the males in this area have disappeared. I don't know where they could have gone. I'm wondering if maybe they're along this little shore here. I know, I know we've got a couple here, but it, there should be more. How to get a lot of money in Call of the Wild? Grinding, Connor. Lots of grinding. 
I've killed about 26,000 whitetail and about 20,000 red deer. So that's where most of my money has come from. Just lots and lots of grinding for great ones. All right, nothing at this zone yet. This one might have something. We'll see. Uh, yes, Katie, there is. There is. Hey, Big Chief, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Oh, I bet, Johnny. That's called the wild for you, though. No two maps are ever alike. I think we only got one male. Absolutely smoked him, though. Oh, hey, Rev, how's it going? You changed your name? I will try to remember that it's you. I will do my best. Oh, it does, Johnny? Yeah, I've only got two here. I mean, maybe I'm missing some of the zones, though. That's possible. I could just be missing some. Come on, let's loop around. Okay, I didn't mean like do a loop. I meant like, you know, loop around the lake, but Call of the Wild uh, must have misheard me there. <laughs> Trying to make me do loops instead. Grace, thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the uh, perks that come with that, like watching Scarecrow fall into a lake. Enjoy the perks that come with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it. You know, we're doing great already. We're falling into the lake. We're having late Euro bison. Hey, Bobby, I'm doing good. Hey, Tian, what is the rarest diamond? Probably the diamond quail. Quail are probably the rarest. You just don't see them very often. What do I think they'll, or do I think they will add great ones to Way of the Hunter? They'll never add something the same as great ones, right? Because that's, uh, that's Call of the Wilds thing. But they have said that they will add unique animals. Now, as for what that's going to be, it's really hard to say. But I imagine they're going to be similar in function to the great ones. Seems like that's kind of what they're going for, at least. I want to see, can bison be at this? Like, do you guys know if bison can be here? Because if they can't be there, then I don't want to waste time checking it, but I, I got a feeling that they can. Getting annoyed on SRP came up with a dumb challenge idea, hunt SRP, but only go after animals fleeing from mountain lions. <laughs> so, in other words, you're just shooting everything. Because everything's always fleeing from mountain lions. That's what I'm hearing to say. It's a shoot everything challenge. Alright, let's grab this tent and get it in a better spot. I know for a fact that bison are down here. And I'm thinking we're going to have to expand our uh, search into this area. Oh yeah, the lion grind is amazing for money, Bobby. It's so good. That's awesome to hear, Chris. That's awesome to hear. There's some there on your map. Got none there. Don't think so. Well, we'll have to see. I, I guess I'll check it just to see if there is any. Since I'm seeing mixed uh, reports from y'all. All right, well, we got bison right here, then. Uh, well, what type of advice are you looking for, Wyatt? Because 600 kills is definitely, like, not super far into the grind. Uh, whitetail great one grinds can very commonly last a few thousand. So, like, what type of advice are you looking for? Thank you, David. Anything cool so far? Not really clean. We just started things off for the day. 
Just checking a few new areas to see if we can find some new spots for bison that are good. Why am I grinding bison? Because I'm missing the melanistic and albino male. And I'd like to get them. I've got a big uh, piebald male that we got from this grind, but I don't have albino or melanistic, so we're trying to get both of those. Albino's probably the one I want the most. Yeah, it is very uh, strange, uh, Shay. It is very strange. Nice, Lando. That's awesome, man. Congrats on that. How to become a member. So, you can become a member by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. Uh, the other option, if that's not showing up, is you can click the link in the description of the stream. And then the uh, moderators can also bring up a uh, command that will show you the link for it. Hey, Kalak, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. No, it's fine, Rev. I, it, it's fine. I, I don't let that type of stuff get to me. It's just fun to, like, uh, mess around with him. Hey, I mean, it's definitely possible, Formatted Titan. It's definitely uh, possible. And by grind technique, you mean, like, specifically grinding for a great one, right? Because I was going to say, technically, when you're just shooting everything, that's not really a grind technique. You're grinding, but you're not using, like, a specific technique. This is an area that always has bison on every server I've been on. Yeah, there we go. We got a couple three males in there, actually. Okay, beautiful. So we're going to drop the tent right here somewhere. Do I have any other tents available? No, this is the last one. Okay. I mean, this is a pretty ATV-able area. We'll get it ready. Ah, uh, Big Chief, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Why aren't you worried about the hunting pressure for the lion grind? I don't want to mess up my zones. I think I responded to one of your comments about that. I, I can't remember if it was you or if it was somebody else, but essentially the reason is because lions are solo animals. Lions are solo animals, so even if you don't delete a zone, like if you just shoot it, doesn't delete it from hunting pressure, they're still not going to come back to the same area all the time because they're a solo animal. So essentially when you kill them, their zone is deleted even if you don't delete it via hunting pressure. Not to mention there's very minimal locations that they can even go. So nine times out of ten, they're going to come back to the same lakes that you're shooting them at. Which is why on the lion grind, you can just nuke every single zone with hunting pressure and not really have too many problems because they don't have a lot of places they can go and they're solo animals anyway. It's the same with uh, black bear. With the uh, black bear grind on Silver Ridge Peaks, hunting pressure really isn't too big of an issue because they're not going to always come back to the same places anyway because they're solo animals. Hope that, uh, hope that clears it up. Did we get vitals? I don't know if we did. Hopefully that one will be vitals. Yeah, that's pretty normal, Bobby. Uh, that that glitch with the lions not spooking is, uh, or not necessarily spooking, but the glitch with them not running away when they're in the fleeing state is a bug that's been around for years. Ever since lions were added, it's been a problem. Time to buy a ton of 300 Magnum Poly tips. Nice, Rev. That's awesome. When you find a zone with six animals in it, do you actually need to examine each spot they were laying in? Are you talking about the actual, like, drink zone, like, uh, tracks that tell you the amount of deer that are there? Um, I would recommend it because what'll happen sometimes is like a zone of six whitetail could be two herds of three. It could be two groups of three 
And so then you got to worry about like which zone you're or which herd you're shooting from. Because you could very well accidentally shoot like two bucks from one of the groups of three and then it would turn to a solo doe zone. And so then next time you go there, there would only be four deer there instead of six. So yeah, in a sense, you do want to be careful. But it also depends on how you're grinding. Like, are you shooting every single buck in a zone? Are you only shooting two bucks in a zone? Are you shooting one buck per zone? Or is it kind of just whatever you can get a hold of? Because I know a lot of people purposely try to only shoot two bucks per zone so that they don't overdo it with hunting pressure and also so they have less chances of accidentally deleting the zone. Ever seen anyone kill a great one on Yukon? Not that I can think of. I actually don't think so. I, I don't recall ever seeing a Yukon great one. Favorite map? My favorite map is uh, Tiabaroa. And uh, I'm actually going to probably do a video kind of like talking about my top three favorite maps and like some honorable mentions and also like the reasons that I like those maps. Because I think that would be a, uh, a cool video to do and also would make it so whenever somebody's curious which maps I like and why I like them, I can just refer to that video. So I'm probably going to end up doing that on tomorrow's video. Or the day after, one of the two. Not sure. Not sure which. Yeah, coins were super close to 97k. Super incredibly close. There's the males. So they were just late to their zone as always. Oh, he's turning. If they're aggressive when I fast travel, will they just run to me? I kind of hope they do. How many bison kills do I have? Probably around like 160 or 170, I would say. Not a ton of them, but like not a small amount either, I guess. Ooh, that might have spooked them. Okay, it didn't. We're good. Oh, we got males here again. Or one male. Nice. Wait, was there a second? Oh, yeah, no, it's just one. Lots of bison going down. Yeah, I thought about that too, Johnny. Right after I shot, I was like, wait, should I? And it was too late. Oh, he just died. He did. <laughs> um, at some point, Lando, I've done it in the past when I was growing up, but uh, I haven't been able to in the last few years due to like for a while, it was financial reasons, couldn't afford to go hunting. Nowadays, it's just I typically don't have enough time to. Because uh, making content on the channel takes up a very uh, large amount of my time. But eventually, I do want to get out and hunt again. And now that, I've, now that I've got the GoPro, I can record it whenever I do go hunting. Same with uh, fishing. I'd like to do some fishing and uh, record it for videos as well. What PC am I on or what is my PC specs? So mine's a custom built PC from Ironside. Uh, one of the moderators or members could bring it up for you in the, uh, in the chat. It'll show all the specs to everything. I don't know if that last one hit him or not. Nice, Nathaniel. That's awesome. What kind of fishing? Most likely trout fishing or salmon or steelhead. That's typically the type of fishing that I do is trout, salmon, steelhead in uh, rivers around Oregon. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, doggo. What you doing, buddy? One lake above the big lake? Which one, Johnny? Um, I don't have anything here last time I looked. I might be wrong, like maybe there's some now, but I didn't have any last time I checked. Sub count? I will check it in one second, Zacky. There's one of the bison. Where'd the other one go? I don't actually know if the other one ran away or if it ran towards me. I mean, I don't think it ran towards me. We would have we would have seen it easily. Definitely would have. Oh, bad shot. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Ah, uh, maybe, Lando. That actually is a good idea. I don't think I've ever done a video like that. I think in order to make a guide like that, I would have to do a grind without the uh, tents and stuff. I have no idea if we got vitals on that second one. We hit it two or three times. None of them were good, though. Those were, though. Uh, nothing crazy, Jammer. What's the secret to getting super rares? Um, there isn't really a secret to them, really. Get extremely lucky is the main one. Uh, if you wanted to, I think herd management will increase your chances of them. But, um... Super rares are incredibly difficult no matter how you're playing the game. Without, um, without herd management, it took me, you know, probably, I would say about 10,000 kills per super rare. And with herd management, it was between like five and 7,000. So it's not a quick thing regardless. And I think my numbers are better than a lot of people's numbers in terms of uh, kill to super rare ratio. I've been extremely lucky. I mean, I've had like what? Three super rare whitetail without using herd management as well as the max weight leucistic diamond duck and then my diamond piebald caribou. And I think I'm, did I have another super rare before then? I can't remember. And then I had the initial spawn, um, melanistic diamond moose. So like, I've had a lot of insane luck in terms of super rares. So my numbers are definitely not the best to base it off of. There we go. All right, let's check here now. See if we got a mail. We're on Hirschfeld and Ty. When did I start playing the Hunter? I started playing it in the pre-release beta back in 2016. And before then I had been playing the Hunter Classic for years as well. Still no males at this zone. I got a feeling this is a dead zone that I'm just going to abandon because it's really not worth grinding it if we only get a male like once every five or six runs. It's just it's not worth the time that it takes. So we're going to dedicate this tent to somewhere else. And I think I know where. I think I know exactly where I want to put it. Man, I really should pick up these tripods as well. Because I've got a few different... Um, i got a few different tripods that are just not being used and it's just taking up a slot on the map to the point where we don't have any place we don't have any room for more tripods on our map i have no idea who that is dean no clue who that is how many diamond red deer do you think it usually takes to get a great one uh it's never a matter of the amount of diamonds river band I've had great one grinds where I barely saw any diamonds and then got the great one. 
And then I've had grinds where I got hundreds of diamonds before the great one showed up. Uh, the amount of diamonds you get before getting a great one really does not have any effect on when you get your great one, right? Because the great one can spawn from anything. I've had great ones spawn with absolutely zero diamonds being taken. Oh yeah, Johnny, definitely. I had my uh, map just loaded up with stuff from uh, goose hunting. So my map was pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty filled with tripods and blinds and tents and I've also had stuff set up for fallow deer in the past, back before we had uh, Tiabaroa. So I had stuff just everywhere. Nice, Weaver, that's awesome. Congratulations on your first great one. There we go, got all that picked up. Oh, that's unfortunate, BV Vlogs. Awesome, Gage. That's great to hear, dude. I hope you enjoy the game as well. Hope you've been having fun on Call of the Wild. It's a very enjoyable game. At least in my opinion. I like it a lot. I've done 7,300 whitetail deer kills. Only bucks. Cannot get a great one. Any tips? I mean, really, the only thing you can do, Brandon, is just keep shooting bucks and hope that it spawns because it's, uh, it's not one of those things where... There's really any rhyme or reason for it taking a long time. Just one of those things where you kind of got to work past whatever issues you're running into on the grind. I mean, maybe what you could do is... You could try hunting different zones. I don't know how much it would actually help, but... I've had some situations where I like switched up the places I was grinding and then got a great one shortly after. So maybe, maybe that's all you need to do. Maybe that's all your grind needs. It's hard to say though. Hey Daniel, how's it going? Also, what do you guys think of the uh, colorful names in YouTube chat now? Uh, I don't believe the update has rolled out to everybody yet, but uh, some of you may have started seeing like uh, every name in chat being like super bright and colorful, similar to on Twitch. I kind of like it. I kind of like the fact that uh, it makes it easier to see the names. And I also like that they still made it so like members and moderators stand out amongst everybody else still. Overall, I think it's a, a good change. What is my favorite map? My favorite map is Tiabaroa. I don't know how well we hit that thing. Hey Casey, I'm glad you enjoy the content, man. It's going good. It's going very good. Just smoking some bison trying to get those rares that we need. Trying to figure out what type of zones we need to be hitting up because there's definitely some zones that, uh, oh, that's a, that's a bison zone right here. Okay, so if we put a tent right there, we can fast travel and then these will render in and then we can shoot whatever males are here. If there's any males. Yeah, there is right there. Okay, perfect. That's awesome. That is super awesome. We might have found a, a couple of new zones that we can use. Yeah, we're super close, Haley. Super close. Let's actually check real quick because I think Zachy wanted an updated count. We're at 96,923. You guys know what that means. Once we hit 97,000, which will likely be in this stream, um, either the next video or the video after that will be the PlayStation gift card giveaway. For those that uh, haven't been dropping by the streams recently, we've talked about it a few times. I did a giveaway for 95k for three DLCs of the person's choice for the Steam version of Call of the Wild on PC. And uh, next up at 97k subs is going to be a $50 PlayStation gift card. And then at 99k, we're going to do um, 220... Two, oh, gosh. 
Oh gosh, my throat. It's dying. Well, anyway, as I was saying, we're going to be doing uh, two $25 Xbox gift cards for 99 k They'll still go to one person. It's just I had to buy two 25s because they didn't have any 50s available at the store I went to. So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's just my way of giving a little bit back to you guys for being so supportive to me and uh, the channel over the years. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to be in the position I'm in today. It really is all thanks to you guys for supporting the content and continuing to enjoy it throughout the years. Where did this one run off to? Where are we going to fit this tent as well? Oh, this is going to be tough. Hirschfeld and problems, am I right? <laughs> there we go. Only Hirsch has these issues. It's impossible to find a place to put your tent sometimes. Don't worry, Hunter, but we'll get it we'll get it soon. I gotta drop this uh this uh tripod down. Tripod can't even go there. Oof. Feels bad, man. There we go. Okay, they are already gone. Where'd the blood go? There it is. It won't be this stream, Fable. It'll be in a video. Remember, we do the uh, giveaways in the video to kind of like simplify and streamline everything. I think you, Duck, I do need to do that. Hey, TTV, you did it again, I see. What's my favorite animal besides uh, whitetail? Uh, red deer. Red deer are my favorite animal, actually. It'll be explained in the uh, video, Alex. Just pay attention to the next couple videos I upload on the channel. One of them will include all the information for the uh, giveaway. Uh, no, it's not possible to give away DLC to Xbox, which is why I'm doing a gift card instead, Lando. Because there is no uh, way to actually give specific DLCs to people on Xbox. But you can do the gift cards, so that's what I've decided to do. Got him! Okay, this is actually going to be a crazy good area. It's going good, Duck. I've been having fun with this bison grind. Like, it's unlike any other grind I've ever done. And so far, it's been pretty enjoyable. So I'm assuming those will not be respawned because we literally just killed them. We might actually need to move up the tent a little bit, though I don't want to get the grass to render in because that'll just make it even tougher to see them. There's our two bison. We heart shot this one. Yeah, boom. Heart shot. Nice, Bryson. Yeah, the Merriam turkeys are cool. It might have TTV. It's looking like it did. It's looking like it did. Um, it was 50 for the PlayStation, 50 for the Xbox, and then, like, um, I think it was like 20 or 25 for the PC for the three DLCs. The PC one was a little bit different because it was three DLCs of the winner's choice. No Great One Bison yet? Nope. No Great One Bison yet. Hopefully they'll add one eventually. But I don't really see that happening anytime soon, considering European bison are only on one map, and they have that rule where they have to be on two maps at least. But it'd be cool. It'd be nice to have something the size of a bison have a great one.
That guy died. I just shot him while he was in the death animation. I wonder if he's going to do that thing where it'll count that shot. You want a great one, Turkey? That'd be so cool. Uh, TDV, welcome back as a member. Hope you're doing good. Got that gold badge going. Uh, no, we're not on Silver Ridge Peaks, uh, BD Vlogs. We're on Hirschfelden. Good old Hirschfelden. Okay, yeah, the second shot didn't count, actually. There is sometimes a bug where the second shot will actually count. Yeah, I haven't seen a diamond yet either, Johnny. I've had a couple fours that were big, but no diamonds yet for the bison grind. Which is definitely like the exact opposite of our lion grind. The lion grind, we were getting a diamond every day. These bison? Not quite. What is the best place for Euro Bison? Uh, it seems to be different, like quite a bit different for everybody's map gauge. But the left half of the map is where you can find them. Most of the lakes on the left half are going to have some bison. Same with the rivers on the left half. Well, I mean, that's natural TTV. People are probably grinding bison more because they've seen people like myself grinding them. That's typically what tends to happen. Somebody starts uh, grinding them and then everybody else decides to grind them as well because they see how cool they are. And so naturally we're going to see more of them. <laughs> what a typo TTV. <laughs> What's my opinion on New England Mountains? Uh, it's a decent map, but could have been better. I like the fact that it's really good for foxes and raccoons and stuff like that. But uh, unfortunately, the lack of new species kind of held the map back, in my opinion. That guy is not going to die, I don't think. I mean, he's definitely going down now. <laughs> Just took so many shots. Um, all my perks and skills I kind of talk about in the uh, Beginner's Guide playthrough series. Uh, Bobby, I would recommend checking out the... Uh, I believe it's the first episode I talked about what skills and perks I was going to be going for. And so that, that'll tell you everything you need to know about the perks and why I use them. No, I'm not on multiplayer, Camo. I don't really do multiplayer while I'm streaming because people tend to follow me and try to, like, steal the trophies from me. So, yeah. I, I tend to not do multiplayer on stream unless it's like a uh, deer drives or something like that. If it's if we're doing like deer drives, then I do it. There it is. He went down slowly, but surely he went down. Uh, we might be able to check the zones once more. It's 1408, so they're going to be moving away from their uh, drink zone, but we might be able to catch them off guard before they get out of there. Yep, level two and level three. Nice, I think we got both of them vitally. Look across. Too late. Oh, I, I see what you mean now, Johnny. Like, look across over the other side. 
Yeah, you're probably right. I should check that area more. We definitely could be missing some of them. No males over there, though. Hey, Tiffany, it's going good. Hopefully things are going well for you also. Have you thought of doing a collab with DD33 or Lady Legend? Y'all are the best called the wild players. I've collabed with both of them in the past. Um, done a few streams with Lady and then I've done a video with DD. There we go. No, it's definitely not, Johnny. It's definitely not. Hey, Ben, how's it going? How you doing, Ben? Hope you're doing good. I mean, there's a road here. <laughs> Not exactly what I was hoping to see over there, but it's something. There's the red deer leaving the area. At some point, we do need to go check this again, since Johnny was saying that that's actually a pretty good area. Need to check this as well. In fact, we might do that right now. Anyone else here have a problem with the drilling rifle disappearing after being shot and notice it only in the rifle mode? Yeah, there's a bug like that right now. I'm pretty sure it does have a glitch where it just completely disappears off screen. It's a strange bug. It is a very, very strange bug. Unfortunately, I don't believe so, Gustav. I, I don't think I can get keys for the Epic Games version. And I don't think there's like Epic Games uh, gift cards either. Ah, uh, there might be actually. More structures not allowed. Okay, so we're not going to go up there until we have a tent available. Where is a tent that I can take down? I mean, I could rip down that goose uh, setup over here or this one. Yeah, let's get rid of this goose setup. I don't need this one. There is gift cards for Epic Games. I might have to do that at some point then. Oh, definitely, Ben. Definitely. Not gonna lie, though. I actually really like the bison. Probably my favorite thing about Hirschfelden. Favorite thing about Hirschfelden is the good old Euro bison. Not sure, Camden. Have not decided. You don't have to have all zones ever, uh, Kyle Outdoors, or is it Sile Outdoors? Um, you don't have to have all of your zones to do a grind. It's good to find all or at least most of your whitetail zones just so you can experiment with each of them and try to figure out which ones are the most consistent. But you don't have to use all your zones in order to grind. It's a very common misconception. Some people seem to think that you have to have every single zone in order to do a great one grind. You don't have to have every single zone. It just uh, helps with determining what zones you want as your main zones. We got a ways to drive. Oh no, Shroom, that's unfortunate, dude. Yeah, Camo, I do. You think a West Virginia map would be cool? Ah, uh, what is even in West Virginia in terms of big game? It, it's gonna be the same answer as any other, like, United States map. I only want it if they can add at least, like, six or seven new species. 
if they can't add six or seven new species with a map, then I really don't have much interest in it. Gotcha, Sio, gotcha. Yeah, Kaluk, we're super, super close. We're within like 70 of hitting 97k. It's pretty crazy. An Everglades map? That could be cool, uh, Bryson. That would actually be able to have some unique species, so I I'd be down for something like that. I mean, I, I do think a Florida map could work because you could do, like, uh, the iguanas. Because iguanas are an invasive, uh, invasive species where you can just hunt as many as you want. And I believe, uh, there is Seekadir in Florida. So Seekadir could go there. Not sure about Seekadir, Fabled. Um, Johnny was telling me that... Seek a deer are very late to their zones, so I don't know if I would do a grind until maybe the next time they do an update to see if it's changed at all. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we definitely spooked them off with the ATV, so what we're gonna do instead is drop a tent right here. Then we will reset the time. Yeah, that'd be kind of interesting, TTV. That'd be kind of interesting for sure. Nothing here right now. Let's go to main menu. I, I saw a couple people say that they have bison here, and then I saw a few people say they don't, so... I don't know if there's going to be any here, but we will see. Nothing so far, but they can be quite late to their zones uh, sometimes, so I think we will still be checking it at some point. Yeah, jungle map would be cool, though I don't think they would ever add in stuff like tigers as they are protected. Really, the only circumstances where tiger hunting is legal as if it's actually like murdering people in a village that's about the only time where it's a uh, a legal thing to do they need to add squirrels they do John and Zane they 100% do I don't know why we don't have them but it's been requested for so long hey buddy Pooped him. Smoked that little guy. <laughs> that was too good. You'll love to see it. Not really, Thad. You didn't miss too much. Just some, uh, some basic males going down. What is Diamond Moose score? I believe 274 point something. You think they should add horses to ride around? Oh, for sure. 100%. That'd be amazing. It'd be a silent way to uh, get around, which would be great. I think we need something like that. Nice level four there. Ah, oh, we made him mad. Okay, we got vitals on that one, just... 
Probably a single lung because he is dying pretty slow. Can we hit that? Maybe? I don't know. Cameron, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for the support. Uh oh. Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you, Perrin. I wouldn't say addicted. I mean, I'm making content for you guys. Super rare and 54 kills. That's crazy, man. That's a quick super rare. I mean, we've already got maps where the majority of animals are small game, uh, Bryson. Revon Tuli is almost exclusively small game and birds. Uh, New England Mountains is majority small game and birds. I don't think as many people would actually be interested in a fully small game map where it's nothing but small game. I think most people need some type of big game, some type of bird to keep a map interesting. You know, variety is key on a lot of the maps. Like you look at the most popular maps and a lot of them have a very vast amount of different types of species. Silver Ridge Peaks has a large variety of big game with, uh, you know, a couple bird species or well, one bird species, the turkey. And then you've got maps like Tiawarob, which it's got a large variety of small, big, and birds. Hey, Zach, we're using the 300 Magnum. We tested out the 338 on them a little bit, and it just, it just was not, uh, not cutting it. It barely killed them any faster than the 300, and it was single shot, so. Unfortunately, 338 just could not compete, so we went back to the 300. I guess I should have checked over here. I keep forgetting to do that. I keep forgetting to check the other shore. Actually, I got an idea. Oh, definitely, Johnny. Why, it's so mind-blowing they haven't done Africa 2. How don't we have an Africa 2 map? Like, it, it would be just the easiest, the easiest W for them. If they did Africa 2.0, it would be one of the most popular maps in the game if they did it right. Is there any 22 guns that you don't have to buy a DLC? No, Lando. Unfortunately, there isn't. All 22s are only available via DLC. Uh, Novaco or Novuco? Is it Novuco or no Novaco? Novaco Kronk, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. Any tips for the Red Deer grind? Uh, what map are you doing it on? Because uh, the map you're doing it on will determine what type of tips. Any trophies from this grind? Not today, but the entire grind as a whole, we managed to get two piebalds, a level four male, and then an initial spawn female one. I think it's just that male again. It looks interesting, uh, Pelican. I'm interested to see what the entire map looks like, and I'm definitely interested to play it. I like the fact that I've heard that they have Sitka Blacktail. That's going to be cool. And honestly, I think Alaska is the first uh, expansion map in Way of the Hunter was a pretty safe bet. Everybody loves Alaska. Maybe TTV. I don't know, though. To be honest, I think that... 
I think that would be a more popular thing for them to do than the whitetail, right? Like if they did an Africa map or another Africa map and then like another one after that and then another one after that, I don't think too many people would be mad because there's a lot of different areas in Africa that are quite different from each other that have a lot of different animals. I could see that actually working out pretty well. I definitely don't think it would be a whitetail situation. Where did that one die? Where's the blood, Hunter? Where's the blood? Best map for a whitetail? I would say the best map for whitetail is probably between Leighton Lakes and Revontuli. They're both pretty good. Uh, Rev is more open, but has more lakes that they can be at. Leighton has them more condensed into fewer areas, but they are, are also much more like brushy zones. These are not here yet. Now let's go check this area one more time. See what's going on there. What is the rarest thing I've ever killed? Uh, melanistic super rare moose, easily. I think that is probably going to be the rarest thing I've ever killed for a long time. Nothing there yet. I hope we end up getting something there because that actually would be a really cool place to hunt them. I think that could be a really cool area. What is my favorite kill that I've ever gotten? Gosh, that's a tough, that's a tough question. I don't know. There's a lot that are like really cool trophies that I love. I mean, the Melanistic Pheasant is one of them. My 50-50 rack uh, Whitetail Great One is another one of my favorite trophies of all time. Uh, the Melis Super Air Moose, that's a top trophy for me as well. And then I've got a couple other Great One Whitetail that I really like that have like a super like tight or wide racks for like that specific rack there, there's just so much to choose from all right later nathan thank you for dropping in as always the running of the bison it is quite a rare sight you don't see it happen too often Anything over here? Nope, not this time around. Helios Gaming, thank you for the two months, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Yes, Perrin, please don't, please don't type in all caps, though. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, gosh. Got my first duck a couple months ago. It was a pieball. Nice, John. That's awesome. That is awesome, dude. What is the easiest diamond? It's probably mountain lion or turkey. They're typically pretty easy to get diamonds of. 
The Ibex are also pretty easy diamonds. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> oh, the hip fire accuracy is not good on this thing. Ow! <laughs> you know what? It moved! No, it, it got unstuck! I don't know what happened there. Oh, it turned. Well, we're not going to hit those. Eh, that's not happening. <laughs> Updated sub count. I will let you know, Zacky. 96, 947 is what we got going currently. What am I grinding for? Um, I'm grinding for an albino and a melanistic of any size for the males. Don't really care how big it is. I just need one of each so I can have all of the rare bison. Hey, they are nervous somehow. Why are y'all nervous, huh? Uh, Krong, thank you for the super chat once again. Wouldn't a Sweden map be lit? It would be cool. It would be cool. There's a lot of locations that would be really nice in Call of the Wild. Level three. Thank you for the super chat once again, dude. What do I think the next update will be in Call of the Wild? Uh, knowing EW and their history, probably a weapon pack, but kind of hoping for a lodge or possibly like an optics pack or trail cams or something like that. But knowing what they usually do, it's probably going to be a weapon pack. What the? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, possibly, John. Possibly. At some point. Trevor, thank you for the super chat. How is my day going? It's going good, dude. It's going good. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Hopefully your day is going great as well. Hope you're doing amazing. Yeah, trail cams would be pretty cool. Uh, Reemerge. It'd be pretty cool for sure. Thank you, JP. I appreciate the compliment. What the traveling bison? Where where's she going? I mean, they got to be at this zone. There's nothing else for them to go to over there. Do I eat McDonald's? Uh not very often, no. I try not to eat too much fast food as it is quite unhealthy. Oh, hey. Level two male. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. Perfect, he's aggressive. That means he'll run towards us. Hey, Kitchen, how's it going? Got any cool Euro Bison yet? Not today, but we did get a couple piebalds on previous days of grinding. Hey, Ali B, how's it going? Hey, Cade, hope you're doing good. I 
I've always said, Austin, if you're thinking about doing it, then do it. Because the more you put it off, the more chances you'll just never do it. The longer you put it off, the more... The more you start thinking about, like... The negative outcomes, right? If you just go for it, then chances are you're going to enjoy it. Content creation's a lot of fun. Level three. And it's one of those things where you don't even have to take it seriously at first. You can just do stuff for fun and see how you like it. If you end up not liking it, then at least you gave it a try and know for sure whether you like it or not. Because I, I debated on doing content for so long and throughout the years I had tried it, but I kind of like, um, just like put in half effort, never really tried to make it into anything. And then one day it was during the uh, second or third month of the whole uh, pandemic and stuff, right? And I just told myself like, I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna start streaming daily and I'm going to try to do a daily video as well. And I'm gonna continue doing it no matter what. And if I hadn't have done that, there's pretty high chance that nobody would even know that I exist on the internet at this point. But it was all because I just buckled down and I was like, okay, I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to stay consistent. I'm going to try to improve all the time. And it paid off. So if you're ever feeling like you want to try out doing content, I say give it a try, because you won't know if you enjoy it until you've given it a try. Holy. Bison males everywhere. Nice, we got three of them. Hey man, like this live stream, greetings from the Netherlands. Keep up the good job. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that you're enjoying. Hope you're having a great day. Any bison trophies? Not today, Logan. Nothing today. How many diamonds? None so far, man. No diamonds on the bison grind. And we've killed almost 200 of them at this point. Bison diamonds are few and far between from my experience. All right, later, Lando. Uh, if you've already got one of the uh, 300s drawn, I wouldn't worry about getting the other one. It used to be something where I'd say, yeah, go for it. You know, they look quite a bit different, but now with the skin system, like, we really don't need to purchase more than one of uh, each gun. If you don't, like, uh, if you don't have, like, infinite amounts of money to put towards getting them, then I, I would say just... Stay with the one that you've got, right? Three, two, three. That's a four. That's a four. That's a three, and that's a three. Okay, we got a couple big fours. Not too bad. Hey, that guy's in a terrible spot, but these are actually pretty good. Oh, he darted off.
Hopefully we got a vitals in there. That first shot was definitely vitals into that guy. Or not. Oh, that was. <laughs> oh my gosh, just dropped him in the place that he was standing. Yeah, they're very slow, David. They're very slow. Which honestly makes them a pretty e Oh my gosh, we hit the brain shot. No way. That's insane that we hit that brain shot. Oh my. Uh, that's strange, Boba. Let me, let me look. Is Steam possibly down? No, Steam is still up. I'm not sure why that would be happening. Not sure why it would be doing that to you. Oh, actually, it was a neck shot. It wasn't even a brain. Even better. Got an albino lion level 8 in multiplayer. That is insane, Brody. I'd love to find something that crazy in multiplayer. That's nuts. Congrats. That is quite the trophy. There it is. I love this location. Six bison in just two zones. This area is just so good. How do you get out of first person on the ATV? Um, on PC, it's the C key. I don't know what it would be on console. I'm sure somebody in chat probably knows. There we go, six of them down. All right, we'll check this place one more time. Let's see if we've got anything here. Down on D-pad, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Hey Alicia, how's it going? Okay, I would say it's safe to say there's nothing here. Where should we dedicate another tent to? I mean, supposedly this area is really good. We also still need to check this area again. Uh, you know what? We'll dedicate this tent to a place later. We'll do that later. Let's just uh, hunt these zones. Got pigs there? Welcome back, uh, Caitlin. I don't know if you left at all, I'd, but uh, welcome, welcome back in case you had. <laughs> hey, piggy wowness. Just uh, smoking some bison, you know. It's been fun so far. No trophies today, though. Nice, Carson. That's awesome. Hey, Megan. How's it going? I hope you're doing good. Nothing of these two zones. Uh, that's up to you, Camo. Like I like I said earlier, 
If you're feeling like trying it, go for it. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Little level two there. <laughs> Spine shot him. What bison am I trying to get? A male albino and a male melanistic. That is the primary goal of this grind. Howdy, bison. Oh gosh, this is a mess. Lucas, thank you for the three months, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Yes, John and Zane. So there is some gun wraps that are free, but then uh, the others come with DLC maps or in a separate... Uh, Skin pack. I believe it's called like the New England Mountains skin pack or something. Oh, I forgot to do it again. Forgot to look across. I don't think we've got anything over there anyway. However, I am going to walk it this time, just in case there's uh, some barely out of render. Because we're definitely missing some males here. And a lot of the areas over here are slightly out of render. Thank you, Paul. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. What map is this? This is Hirschfelden. Finally got the 7 mil. Nice, dude. That's awesome. 7 mil is a pretty big uh, step. Next, you're going for the 300. That is definitely a pretty good option as well. 300 is definitely a good one to work towards. Jeez, we're seeing a lot of fours. Oh gosh, that'd be so sick, Caitlin. That that would be pretty sick looking. Where is this bison? It just disappeared. Just disappeared off the face of the earth. I guess it went this way actually. Oh no, Camo, that's the worst. What's, what uh, area are you talking about, uh, John? If you're talking about the like corner on Mississippi, I'm pretty sure that I did that before. You didn't miss too much, uh, Phillies fan. Jeez, Camo. Yeah, it's rough, man. Very unfortunate to have that happen. Yeah, I think it's time to main menu, actually.
What should you get first? Seven mil or 300? Uh, if you can, go for the 300 first, uh, Piggy Wowness. Might as well just, uh, skip straight to the good one, you know? Go down! <laughs> NBS, thank you so much for becoming a member, or actually renewing your membership. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Ooh. Heart shot. Holy. What a heart shot. Uh, Pioneer, thank you for the two months. Dude, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, there it is. Yeah, seems about right, Boba. That's the same for me, man. Are you still purple? I'm not sure. What? How many months are you at currently? You have to be at a year to get the gold badge. I uh, know, John and Zane, I'm not. I grew up with it being like the only thing my parents would let me listen to. So as I got older, I kind of just didn't want to listen to it anymore. Is a blonde lion a rare? Yes, that is a rare. Any advice for whitetail hunting? Um, like in, in what map? There, there's a lot of stuff that is going to change. Like what tips I give you. Like what? What is the uh, reason for hunting whitetail? Are you after like diamonds, rares, great ones? What map are you doing it on? Like. My gosh, just pelting that thing. I don't even think we got vitals in those three hits. Come on, he's got to go down. There's no way he survived that. Nice, Sammy. I'm glad you got one. Great ones. Um, on Leighton Lakes. Uh, I recommend watching my Leighton Lakes Great One Guide then. That'll give you like all the, the information of like locations. And um, even if you're not doing herd management like that guy's talking about, you can still apply a lot of the uh, information in terms of locations as well as like picking specific zones that are consistent. Hey, Dynamic, how's it going, man? Two males here this time. That's not bad. Well, that was poor shooting. Uh, probably not gonna die for either of those. Let's go up to this zone. Do you like steak? I do. Steak is good. Haven't had it in a while, but it's good. What's my favorite gun? The 308 AR, Zach. Love that thing. Three, three, three. Three, all threes. Just, just nothing but threes. That group is not here.
Uh, no camo. Great ones are completely random in terms of... Oh, we got a five! There's a level five! How did I not see him? Oh my gosh, there he is! Level five planes, or not planes, European bison. I almost said planes bison. Level five Euro bison, finally! Let's go, guys. That's awesome. It's gonna troll. Don't jinx me now. We we don't need that that jinxing energy. Oh gosh, I hate. Oh my gosh, I hate trying to take that shot. Oh, it's such a risky shot. You know what? I think we're going to reset the time. It's the end of their drink time, so they're just not going to come back. Let's give ourselves a couple hours. Otherwise, this is going to be too risky of a shot. There he is. There's our five. All right, let's go down and try to get him. Okay, we don't have too much hunting pressure. We should be good. Is that a diamond? It could be, Camo. It could be. I'll actually uh, ping the Discord because a lot of people have been waiting for us to see a level five bison. There we go. It's a diamond, I'm calling it. I hope so, Piggy Wowness. I hope so. I'm just happy we finally have a level 5 in front of us. After so long of... Grinding these things. Actually, we need to... We need to go to the left now, because it turned. It's about 300 away, which is not too bad. We can zero for 300, so. Yeah, probably, Johnny. That's what it's looking like. <laughs> what is diamond for Eurobison again? I can't remember. Isn't it like 270 or something like that? Oh, it is 270? Okay, so this one does have a chance then. Two seventy point four, two seventy, two seventy point four, two seventy. Okay. Yeah, this is about perfect right here, bro. Turn. What is? Why is he doing this? Every time I get an angle, he turns on me. <laughs> what is he doing? It's like he knows I'm trying to take him down. And so he's purposely not cooperating. Now this three's in front of him. Ah, how far is that? 174? Okay. 22 trick time. As much as I want to. I don't trust the off angles on Euro Bison. I've had so many of them go through too much flesh and just not hit vitals. So I'm not going to do a frontal shot. Hey, level five. Do what the three just did. That like slow turn. That's what we want to see. Give us the slow turn. Oh, they definitely are a burger. Oh gosh, if we get too close, the tent renders in. That's the worst. Wait, 
Wait, here we go. That should be good. He's going down. Let's go, guys. We finally got it. Man, that tent almost screwed us over. <laughs> that tent almost screwed us over. As much as I like having tents on top of the zone to claim the animals fast, there's some situations where it just gets in the way. Like this one right here. At least we got him down, though. Please tell me that this is a diamond. That would be so amazing if it is. Look at that beauty. Been a while since we've seen a level 5 Euro Bison on the channel. Probably like a year and a half, to be honest. Is it a diamond? It's a diamond! 27560! Let's go! That is awesome! We got our first diamond bison of the grind. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Made it by like five points as well. That is so cool. Managed to get single lung and uh, scapula. That's so cool though. Oh my gosh, we got our first diamond of the grind. Are we going to get anything else cool today? Hopefully. Yeah, Camo, because we're actually grinding for rares. We're not grinding for the diamonds, but this is definitely nice to get along the way. We're trying to get an albino and a melanistic, so until I get both of those, we'll probably keep grinding. That's so cool, though. We finally got ourselves a diamond. That is so awesome. Now let's go claim these other ones that we took down. That just made my day. My gosh. Thank you, Sassy. How many rares have I killed? We've killed two rares on the grind and both of them were piebolds. I know we hit at least one more up here. I don't know how far it ran though. Zach, thank you so much for the uh, membership renewal, dude. Glad to know I tuned in at the right moment. Caught the tail end of the diamond rand. Nice, dude. Nice. Glad you could make it to see it. And thank you for the six months once again. Is the crossbow worth it? I, uh, If you like crossbows, then yes, it is worth it. It's a very powerful bow. But like I was saying, it all depends on if you like crossbows. If you like crossbows, it's definitely worth using. Because it is pretty good. Uh, they are difficult to spot. Yeah, Burger, they are. Um, Johnny actually got one recently. And they are just like a little bit darker than the uh, regular commons. So it is tough to tell. Oh gosh, I couldn't imagine trying to spot one in the shadows. That would probably suck. Hey, T2, how's it going, man? Uh, no, Meister, I think it's just on your end. Oddly enough, and hopefully I don't jinx myself, we went through like a week of getting frame drops and lag every single stream. It's been like three or four streams since we had any type of internet issues, so that's really good to see. Let's hope it continues. Is blonde mule deer rare? No, those are not uh, rares. Yeah, Nathan, we got a level five and it made diamond as well. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see it. It was a pretty good one, like five points above diamond. Uh, no, Mr. Bonnox, this is not pre-recorded. This is a live stream. Not sure if you're familiar with what a live stream is, but that's what we're doing here. Is a pieball a duck rare? No, they're not rare. They are considered an uncommon. Nice, got the little heart shot there. There we go.
Well, you're terrible at joking, Mr. Bonnox. I can tell you that. You are terrible at joking if that was your uh, idea of a joke. Usually jokes have to be funny. I will at some point, Nathan. I kind of want to close the deal on the bison grind because we weren't grinding for a diamond. We were grinding for um, rares. We're trying to get an albino and a melanistic. So we still gotta do the uh, we still gotta do the bison grind, and I still gotta grind for the blonde uh, lion as well. So until I get those, we probably won't do too much bear hunting. Pro actually pre-records everything. Uh, d definitely, Gavin. Of course. I mean, pfft. how else do you think we get the great ones live on stream? Duh. Of course, of course, it's just pre-record. We haven't been to this lake in a little bit. I wonder if this has anything. Hey, dilute mule deer, because they look like an albino so much. They do in certain lighting, yeah. Can definitely trick you at first glance. Nothing in that zone. We should probably check this one, though. I don't even know if they'll be there yet. When am I going to grind bear again? Ah, uh, whenever I feel like tormenting myself again. Ah, <laughs> uh, because those bears, they're brutal. I don't know, like, I can only do the bear grind for a couple weeks before it just drives me insane. All right, later, camo. Now that we got that level five, we're just hoping to see some standout fur variations. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to fast travel. And see if we can smoke them as they're running at us. Nice. Gosh, the splat sounds that you hear nowadays whenever you shoot something up close. <laughs> Old Call of the Wild didn't have anything like that. To be honest, they've done a decent bit of good improvements to the game over the last couple updates. Uh, the blood spatter actually having sound effects for the impacts, like, it's much better than it used to be. Really curious to see if they're going to do any more, like, quality of life stuff. Uh, it's probably part of my graphics settings, uh, BB shots. I'm going to assume it, it has to do with graphics settings. Uh, yeah, Paul, one of the mods can link the, uh, Discord. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, Caitlin. You've been having bad luck in terms of, like, uh, Black Bear trophies showing up. You've got your great one, but for some reason the rares are just so stubborn for you. And for me, it's the other way around, like 3,600 kills, no great one, but uh, rares like everywhere and diamonds as well. Don't we have like 23 or 24 diamond bears? Uh, Nora, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Level three. Level four. Like to see that. 
Yeah, we've been getting a bunch of fours to show up recently, and then that five. We're starting to get some higher level bison, which is awesome to see. Hey, Jebba, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Chris, what are you doing? <laughs> That's, that's like the most pointless message I've ever seen. <laughs> Literally just my stream title. <laughs> Gavin, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Welcome back, man. Hope you're doing good. Don't see any males there. Uh, yeah, NBS, I am on a uh, live chat. I did remember today. Uh, there could be many reasons for that, AJ. There could be many, many reasons for that. They could be late to their zone. Uh, they may have respawned somewhere else. There's a lot of different things that uh, could have possibly happened. It's kind of hard to... Kind of hard to help figure out, like, uh, what's going on without actually being on the map and playing it. Oh no, Burger feels bad. Yeah, Kronk, we can definitely hit a 97k today. In fact, we're 26 off of it. I think we'll definitely make it today. There's a male. Uh, yeah, Danielle, we got a diamond. We got our first diamond Euro Bison of the grind. <laughs> okay. He's got he's got that water shield on him, you know. He's got that liquid shield. <laughs> Please don't float. I will be so mad if you flip. Okay, then. T2, thank you for the super chat, dude. What's my favorite map? Tiabaroa. Tiabaroa is my favorite. Love that map. We got a floater, we do. We got a floater, sadly. You hate to see it, man. You hate to see the floaters pop up, but it's part of life. No males there. Okay, that's definitely strange. But I guess it's not completely unheard of. I know, right, Nathan? Imagine. You think Way of the Hunter is better than Call of the Wild? Uh, no, not in its current state. I think they're very different games, first of all, so it's hard to compare them, like, hand in hand. Primarily just going to depend on what you enjoy more in a hunting game. If you want a more slow-paced, realistic game, then Way of the Hunter is the better game. If you want a more fast-paced, uh, action-packed hunting game, then Call of the Wild is definitely the better option. But in terms of, uh, in terms of, like, the actual game and enjoyment levels, I do like Call of the Wild more. I think part of that is just that we need to wait for more content for Way of the Hunter. They're slowly adding in content to the game, so... In a few years, I imagine they'll be kind of closer. Have I ever got 1 million views, like, on a single video? Uh, no, I haven't. Most I've had was, like, 290,000, I believe? And that was on a YouTube short.
Got a few of them here. We got at least one of them because he's mad. <laughs> Dude, he's right behind the tree. I couldn't get another shot. Oh yeah, shorts definitely do. Uh, I don't know the reason for it, but yeah, YouTube shorts definitely get way more views than full videos ever do. Like right now, we average about 10 to 15,000 views within the first like three or four days on a regular video. A YouTube shorts get like 20,000 in less than 24 hours. It's crazy the difference between shorts and full length videos. Honestly, I'd say right now YouTube shorts are the best way to grow a channel. Like if you're starting, if you're just starting out a channel, YouTube shorts are a great way to promote your content. It's very similar to TikTok. TikTok is also a great place to promote your content if you're a new creator. Because uh, there's going to be different viewers on there and you can bring them over to your main channel. As well as just... TikTok and YouTube Shorts have more potential for like a short or a TikTok to blow up out of nowhere. Do you know KG Gaming? Um, I know of him, but I've never actually uh, talked to him. Yeah, true, Boba, true. And I think a lot of people like the short form content as well because it's straight to the point. There's no like a uh, filler. A lot of people could see, you know, a, a big full length 15, 20 minute video as being a lot of filler and then just like a couple trophies, which isn't for everybody, right? Not everybody likes to sit through a 20 minute video. So I can see why YouTube shorts are so popular because it's quick and to the point. It just gives you the main meat and potatoes of the whole dinner, you know? Instead of uh, having to go through everything. Just boom, there's what you were looking for. My gosh. All the level threes again. I just don't like it, Flamingo. Never, never been comfortable with being on camera for hours at a time. Just not my thing. I feel like I can't uh, make the best content possible whenever I'm worried about how I'm looking on camera. It just makes the content not as good. Due to me just always worrying about what I'm looking like instead of the actual game. So I have just chose to not do base cam with my content. We've done okay without it so far though. <laughs> yeah, Na yeah, Nathan. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> There's one. That was a lot of level threes. Like, my gosh. Nice, Chris. That's awesome, dude. Not sure, Cutter. Usually they do a February update, but it's hard to say if they will this year. But in the uh, past years, they've always done a February update, so I would imagine that the next update should be sometime this month, hopefully. Could be next month as well, though. That was so many level threes, my gosh. <laughs> so many threes. Oh my gosh. They need a North Carolina map, they have crazy bucks. But what could a North Carolina map offer that's different from other maps? Because right now we've got a bunch of maps where you would probably have virtually the same species as a North Carolina map, so... The question is, how could they make it unique? Yes, Chase, I've done a few different videos covering Ultimate Hunting. Really hoping that game will be a good game. Curious when they're planning to release it now. 
I haven't really heard any news about the release date. Random dinos on Layton would spice things up. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. That would spice things up. Though I can't see that being very fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Dinos on Layton. Now as amazing as that would be. Oh, I, I honestly think they should just do a revamp of uh, um, the Hunter Primal, Nathan. They need to do a Primal 2.0. I think honestly that would be a big hit. I could see that being a huge hit with everybody. Uh, yeah, I've heard of the angler. I've actually got a few videos of it on the channel. Hey, you shush, shush! Don't don't be mad. Where did that one come from? I probably shouldn't have shot it out of the stand. I mean, it's not going to delete our zone, but it's going to create more pressure than I wanted. I know, Flamingo, these bison are just, they're very prevalent in this area. This is definitely my best bison area. How do you spot animals through the scope? You have to use the sight spotting uh, skill. Right in the ambusher category right here. Let's grab the ATV and go grab those, because they are a long ways away. Any rares today? No rares yet, Viper, but we did get a diamond. So we've had at least one nice trophy today, which is amazing. No, Cade. I am not using it right now, and we got a diamond, so... You don't have to use it. You missed a super chat, did I? Oh yeah, Hunter 11. How's it going, dude? What map should you hunt? Uh, how about... How about Hirschfelden? But thank you for the uh, super chat, Hunter11. I mean, I've been enjoying Hirsch. I would recommend testing out uh, the Euro Bison. It's a lot of fun. How many kills was it until my third Great One Red Deer? Uh, it was 6,000. 6,000 to get my third. Is that a Mela? I don't think so. It is a nice four, though. Dude, we might be able to just... Eh. Nah, they're not all here. I don't think we could only hunt this zone. I don't think it would work out. Just hunting one. That is a big four, though. Very, very nice, level four. Do I shoot the females too, or just the males? I just shoot the males. Beautiful. He's down. You'll love to see it. Boom, level four. The other one we did not get vitally, so... Not gonna worry about him. Let's go down to this lake. This one seems pretty consistent. I'm uh, not sure, John Insane. I've never tried editing stuff on mobile. Do 
two threes. Yeah, this show's been really consistent so far. How? How is that not a hard shot? I, I suck at bison hard shots. I don't think I've purposely got one ever. I think all my hard shots on bison have been accidental. <laughs> I think they've all been accidental. Oh, man. Yeah, it shouldn't, Johnny, because they, they have big enough herds that I, I wouldn't think that it would. No, oh, that's not what I... Quick, too fast. You're somehow good at neck shots? I can't hit them for the life of me, Caitlin. Like with the bison, it's pretty much just all lung shots for me. Gotta go for the lung or I can't hit it. Glad you like it, uh, catching it with Cooper. Hey, Amen. I'm just being me, you know? Some people may think it's over the top how excited I get for big trophies, but... I just have a lot of fun. You can tell when I'm really enjoying something because I'll be a lot more... A lot more expressive about it. A lot more, like, excited and loud. And I feel like that's honestly why, like, over the years I've went from... Having not too much of insane reactions to stuff to having like crazy reactions Because as I've gone on with YouTube, I've just enjoyed it more and more It's become something I've enjoyed more and more every single day Holy! Smoked him. Not to mention I also uh, used to live in like a small apartment so I had to be quieter. Nowadays I don't. So I can actually uh, actually react the way I'd like to to things. Wow, Nathan, I take full-on offense to that. I do it, like, all the time just because I like them. But hey, I'm glad that you, uh, glad you're feeling like buying some. You'll have to let me know if you get any good hits. Just got home from school, what did I miss? You missed a diamond Euro Bison. Hopefully football productions. I think we can definitely get there within the next couple weeks. I think that's totally possible. Okay, this zone has been so weird recently. Like all of a sudden we're not getting the males there. We had three the first time and have had none after that. Makes me wonder where the respawns went. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta poke a bison as you swing by. A little bit of a, a swing by a bison poke. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, no, they'll respawn without claiming the kills, but I recommend claiming them. It seems like it helps them be more consistent. So I do recommend claiming as many as you're able to. Well, we can definitely tell which is my best zone. <laughs> it's 
It's also 1410. We're going to do one more reset and see if anything's there. Um, I can tell you the sub count right now, Chris. We are currently at 96,985. We're 15 off of 97k. 15 off. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, true, Johnny. Me too. I usually don't get a chance to see Hollow stuff. All right. I think we're going to jump over to the Whitetail. We've done about two hours of the Bison grind. I think it's about time we go smoke some whitetail. Back to the beautiful whitetail that we all know and love so much. Definitely, Zerkles, definitely. That sounds pretty interesting, Caitlin. So, what you're saying is she's gonna do seven days to die, but gonna, like, flip a house in it? Oh, we got to get the uh, correct gun. Not going to be launching arrows at them from this far. That that definitely will not work out. He's just dancing back and forth, getting smoked. Uh, probably Jebba, but we're, we're not even going to attempt it. This is Leighton Lakes, Chase. Oh, gotcha, Caitlin. I thought that's what it sounded like. I imagine that'll be pretty interesting. All right. Got some hunt co- ooh. That's a Mela. <laughs> it's a level one Mela. <laughs> All right then, level one melanistic. That's pretty sick. That's gotta be the smallest mela I've ever found though. Like that guy is tiny. My gosh. That is hilarious. That is the smallest Mela I've ever killed. Like, I don't think it even comes close. I, I'm pretty sure my smallest one previously was like a mid-size level two. So that's crazy right there. Jeez. That is crazy. Look at that little dude. That is adorable, a little uh, melanistic fence rack. Honestly, his antlers kind of bend back a little bit. That's actually a pretty unique one.
Not too bad. That's pretty sick. What a way to start the day. I know, Burger. He's massive. What a giant. Look at this monster melanistic. 135.25. You mean like 435.25? Obviously. This guy's better than a great one. I mean, you too can get this luck, Boba. Just, you know, kill hundreds of whitetail every day and it'll happen. Rares always have the weirdest racks. They definitely do, man. They definitely do. I mean, Melanistic is Melanistic, world-class deer hunter. Doesn't matter how big it is. It's still a Mela. Exactly. We completed one of the weekly... Yeah, there we go. Rare or uncommon fur color. And that one right there. Just running through these hunt club missions. I don't want to shoot any others because I think those might be the last two in this zone. Don't want to turn into a solo doe. How many kills in are we? Let me check. Let's see how far we are into this particular uh, great one grind. So on the current grind, we have killed 670 bucks. Closer to 700 now, though. We're probably at like 685. Nice, Zerkles. There should be, Bobby. They're doing it in like bursts. They're going to be doing them from Wednesday to Friday. This will be the last week they're doing them as well. This was just a test for the Hunt Club beta. They were just testing them to see if it was working properly. And I'm assuming eventually they'll bring it back permanently once they've done all the testing they need to and figured out if everything's working as intended. Uh, to be honest, there really isn't like hot spots for Whitetail Viper. I have yet to see anybody's map be identical to mine in terms of like what areas are good. It's pretty much just a matter of going to the half of the map where Whitetail are and figuring out where your hotspots are. Because, like, for me, I have a ton of herds down at Runaki, but I talk to so many people that don't even have deer there. Um, five's enough, Jabu. Trying to set up to grind Whitetail and Red, but don't know how many drink zones there are. Uh, between 60 and 70, typically, uh, Sid. Hey, Kayla, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. I'm using the 308 AR from the Modern Rifles Weapon Pack. Look at that little dude. Holy, we got two of them there. Not too bad. Thank you, Jebba. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. I want that typical rack so badly. I need it. Knowing my luck, though, I'm going to get like seven more big racks before getting a typical rack. <laughs> Which would still be cool. I mean, I can't complain, right? Yeah, Gavin, we still got lucky on the map. No, Elite Sniper, that sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that, man. Yes, Kayla, I have. Gonna be a mixed rack? I mean, I wouldn't mind a 50-50 rack. I've only got one 50-50 rack, and it's the one that is half the typical rack and half the short rack, so... If I could get another like that, I wouldn't really mind it. That would still be really cool. As long as it's not the 50-50 rack that Casey has, I can't stand that rack. Oh, 
Holy. That's a big buck. Oh, you got that rack too? Yeah, I don't know, man. The 50-50 rack that KC had, he loves that rack, but I, I don't like it that much. I feel like it looks way too offset. Like, one antler is like twice the height of the other, and that, that just throws me off. I'm all for a great one looking wonky, but that is a pretty drastic difference. But I get why some people like it. Because it does kind of give off that, like, uh, non-typical vibe, right? Uh, no, the one that KC has is half of the... It's half cluster rack, half drop tine rack. And I don't know, I just can't get into it. The one that I have is half typical rack, half uh, short rack. Or small rack, or whatever you want to call it. And I think that one fits really well. How many mellows do I have? I don't even know, Viper. I've shot so many whitetail deer that I, I couldn't even begin to tell you the exact numbers of each rare. I'm assuming I've probably got around like 10 melas. Maybe, maybe a little bit more even. I definitely have at least 50 piebalds. Those things just are everywhere for me. And for albino, it's probably about 20, maybe 25. Yeah, but this is all estimated numbers. Like, there's no way to know except unless I go into my lodge and count them one by one. Sub count? I can check it real quick. We gotta be close. We are six subs away from 97k. Yeah, we're definitely really close. How do you see how many bucks you've killed? Uh, you can't. You just gotta keep track of it. What I did is I counted how many deer I can kill in an hour on average and then depending on how many hours I grind that day that's how I determine how many I've killed it's so like if I grind whitetail for two hours then as long as there wasn't any times where we stopped smoking them super quickly then I'll just count it as 200 in those two hours because that's the average that I typically get it's about 100 per hour Right on top of each other. Beautiful. We're super close, Cloudy. Super close. How do you not have much recoil? The recoil management perk in the shotgun category. If you go to level 3 on that, then it reduces your recoil quite a bit. And I also play on keyboard and mouse, so I'm able to uh, pull down pretty quickly and compensate for the recoil. One of these days, I'm thinking of setting up a... Uh, a hand cam so you guys can actually see uh, my hands on the keyboard and mouse and how I play are you done with the bison grind uh for today yes in total no we're gonna continue grinding because we still need two rares we got the diamond today but uh, we still need an albino male and then we also need a melanistic male uh, yeah, it works for every gun, uh, Nathan. If you read the, um, the details of it, it says that it works on everything. There's a lot of perks that do that. Like right here, less recoil when firing any weapon and able to fire a follow-up shot sooner. And then it's the same with this. Weapon sights align faster after rotating with any weapon. Um, increase the speed of entering and exiting aim mode using any weapon. So, like, there's a lot of perks in the shotgun category that work for every gun in the game. Same for uh, weapons in the, or perks in the other weapon categories as well. Okay, we're going to have to main menu. Caitlin, if you're still here, I like how your, uh, the notification for your short just popped up and it's titled, The Bear Grind Makes Me Cry. <laughs> me too. Me too. The Bear Grind Makes Me Cry as well. 
It's brutal. We got two bucks over there. Wow. He's going to float. I mean, he doesn't really have any place he can float besides just right along the shore. I was zeroed wrong. Oh no. We did it. We're at 97k. Yep, it just updated to 97,000. 97,003. Thank you guys so much. We are only 3k away from 100k. That's just so surreal. What <laughs> what is happening? That's crazy. That is crazy, man. And we've got the new way of the hunter map just around the corner, so that'll definitely push us past 100k. That's insane. Again, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel throughout the years. I really do appreciate it. Without you guys, I'd be nothing. There would be no Scarecrow without all of you that consume the content every day and support me in everything that I do. Thank you all so much. I got a big boy and two little dudes. Die already. <laughs> He's not going down. Hold on. Let's. Oh, he died before I could get him. Feels bad. Yeah, NBS, it's crazy. How do you zero your gun? On PC, you press F. I don't know what it is on other platforms. And I'm pretty sure I've rebound all my keys at one point or another, so that might not even be the default. I'm doing good, Luca. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. Do I like the 6.5? Yeah, 6.5 is great. Yeah, Necron, it did. It made diamond by like five points, I believe. It was a pretty good uh, diamond Euro Bison. That's a weird looking deer. That guy's got the wonkiness. Dude, random moose. <laughs> the moose just felt left out. They're like, man, you haven't been hunting us in a while. What's wrong with you, crow? Oh, you just got it, Zeke? That's wild. That's wild that it just now popped up for you. Okay, first one died down here. What sight do I use on my shotgun? I use the 1 to 4x uh, scope. The 1 to 4x shotgun scope, I believe it's called the Meridian. And then I also use the uh, the Red Raptor Reflex sometimes. But I, I'm kind of usually inclined to use the 1 to 4x Meridian just because it gives you a wider range of zoom levels. Um, technically they could, Colton. Like, let's say you delete a zone on your grind, right? And then one of the respawns ends up being a great one. It would technically create a new zone. And so it'd be in a zone that you never discovered. There we go.
Nice, Drawn. Hopefully it's a quick grind for you. What maps did you do your whitetail grind on? Uh, Rev on Thule Coast and Leighton Lakes are the two best. Uh, depending on what style you like more, Leighton's got less, uh, less square footage on the map that you have to search to find your zones because they're only on the left half. And uh, Rev on Thule Coast has virtually no brush at most of the zones. So it depends on if you want a, a super clear shooting lane or if you want a more condensed area to search. I don't know, Zacky. I got a lot of great ones off of uh, Leighton. I would say it's a pretty good map for them. The zones I've got here for Whitetail are the most consistent zones I've ever had on any grind. Is the Mexico map good? Um, it's it's okay for Whitetail. It's kind of like in the middle. Kind of like in the middle. It's better than Mississippi, but uh, not as good as Leighton or Rev. Mississippi's like bottom of the barrel for whitetail hunting. Oh, nice, Nathan. Yeah, that's a good set. That's a good set. What map am I on? We're currently on Leighton Lakes. Nah, Zachy, Mississippi trash. Not in general, but for Whitetail it is because the gators spook everything. Leighton Black Bear grind? I would, but that would re that would require me to take down my Whitetail setup. As I believe Black Bear can literally be at every single lake on Leighton. So yeah, it would require me taking down my setup. Hey J and P plays, how's it going? Hope you're enjoying the uh, content. Oh! Getting ran over over here. <gasps> Ow! Bro, that's not even cool. She doubled back just to hit me. <laughs> that's so rude. What is she doing? Are any of them going to give me a good shot? No. Oh, we screwed up that shot too. Yeah, that guy's going to run a long ways. We're not going to worry about him. When you were hunting bison, what map were you on? Hirschfeld and Outdoor Dudes. How to get your lions to come back? What do you mean? Like, are they not coming back to the same lake? Or they may be just late? Sometimes they're just late to their zones, man. Other times, they might have moved to a different lake. Got your first ever great one a few days ago. Got your second within 100 kills on Red Deer. That's insane, Nicholas. That's awesome. Congratulations. There's a couple we can get out in the open. How was the second one not a hit? Did we hit the tree? We must have hit the tree. We got him still, but that was unfortunate. Very unfortunate that that second, second shot did not connect. Aw, oh, they're so cute. The smallest of the males. Is Hirsch the only map with the Euro Bison? Yes, it is the only map with the Euro Bison. 
You know what's crazy? Right now, I believe that is the only species that is unique to Hirschfelden. At this point, all the other Hirschfelden species have got a second map at one point or another. I would recommend checking out my uh, beginner's guide playthrough series, j and I've got a full series that is, for the most part, completed at this point. I think we're up to like level 36 or 37, where I just kind of guide through the entire leveling process, talk about best places to go, best places to like uh, make money, best ways to earn XP, stuff like that. TTK, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great. Uh, yeah, Turtle Lover, that's not too bad. The thing about Call of the Wild, right, is there's really no rush in, like, leveling up. Just play at your own pace and enjoy it. Cdox Gaming, thank you for the one month, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, John and Zane, please stop self promoing. You've spammed that message like eight times. Please, uh, please refrain from the self promo. That is what the uh, channels in my Discord are for. We've got a we got a full channel dedicated to. Um, self promo. There's one right there. Hey, bro, is it Brazo? I think that's Brazo. Brazo Outdoors, how's it going, man? I'll be surprised if I got that right, but hopefully I did. Hopefully I got it correct. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Crow with the 26 months. That's a long time as a member. Holy. Got my second great one, Whitetail, but it's the same rack going for number three. At least you got a second one though, right? Even if it was the same, at least he got a second. That's actually how it was for me as well. My first two great ones were the same rack. I didn't get anything different until the third one. Later, Michael. Best map for ducks and geese? Rev on Tule Coast for sure. Though, uh, Verhunga Savannah has some pretty good widgeon hunting. Glad the content can help you out, Jimmy. I do my best to try and make it all enjoyable for y'all to watch. Any ducks on Silver Ridge Peaks? Uh, no, there is no ducks on Silver Ridge, sadly. It'd be nice to see a duck on there, though. Honestly, I'm really curious if they will ever add a uh, bird species besides turkey to uh, Silver Ridge. Sure would be nice. Um, she was, uh, Caitlyn was lurking. Kind of like bouncing back and forth between chatting and lurking. Nothing there. 
He's usually always lurking. Yeah, pretty much. Always lurking in the shadows. What animals do they need to add to the Hunter Call of the Wild? Ah, gosh, there's a lot that I'd love for them to add. Ooh, there's a big deer. We got four of them here this time. I'd like to see Pure David's deer. I'd like to see the Coos deer. I'd like to see the Sitka Blacktail deer. I'd like to see the Eland. I'd like to see about six million other species, to be honest. That's just some of them off the top of my head. Uh, definitely Tiawaroa, Cloudy. Tiawaroa is not only the best map for Red Deer, but it is the most fun because they're actually pretty consistent and reliable. The areas that you hunt them are pretty easy to hunt. And on Quattro, they're very spread out. You'll be doing a lot of running between zones. They're very inconsistent because there's a lot of solo males and there's a lot of water that they can possibly spawn at. With the, um... With the Red Deer solos on Tiawaroa, there's only so many lakes they can go to, so it's pretty easy to figure out where they've gone. But yeah, on Quattro, that's not the case, because you got a whole river and a bunch of lakes to check. They need to add squirrels? Definitely, man, for sure. Squirrels are definitely one I'd love to see. We're getting some decent bucks to spawn, but nothing huge. Aha! The double smokage. What about possums? Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, no, JNP. I just play on PC. Oh, yeah, Cloudy. The river was terrible when I did it. I used to grind red deer on Quattro before Tiawaroa was a thing, and yeah, it was awful. The river always sucked to hunt. Uh, no, Cruz, you cannot kill two in one shot in Call of the Wild. Unless you're using bird shot and you get two uh, birds down at once. Yeah, Pioneer, we do. Lucky is still alive. Something there. Couple bucks, but nothing crazy. Uh, yeah, Timmy, we're using the 308. Love this rifle. Such a good gun. Ooh, okay. Well, he darted off fast. Uh, is that even worth chasing? He is going a long ways. No, that's not worth chasing. Um, pretty much any... I don't know, it's kind of hard to recommend J&P because everybody's like, uh, everybody's needs in terms of what PC they get is very different. I don't really know any specific PCs off the top of my head because every PC I've ever had was a custom built. I mean, some of the some of the newer gaming laptops are decent. They've actually got good specs for the value. Thank you, Abigail. I can't believe we made it already. Seems like it was just a week or two ago that we hit 95k. Nothing there. Uh, 
Uh, we've been going for, what, two hours and 43 minutes so far? Uh, Matt? Like two hours and 43 minutes? How did that last shot miss? There we go. We got him that time. <laughs> We've had a few shots tonight that just didn't seem like they should have missed. How much money have we made since starting the stream? Uh, to be honest, I have no clue. Uh, we're at like... 13,401,000 right now, and I don't remember what we started at today. Oh, we are not on, we are just not hitting shots today. Bro's aim is gone. Do I have specific days I stream? I stream five days a week. Only days I don't stream are Wednesday and Saturday. Bear aim? Uh, it's definitely not bear aim. I was actually hitting the bears pretty good. This is definitely the duck aim. Wow, four bucks here. He turned. Ooh, couldn't turn away from that one. Welcome back, uh, TTK. Five seventeen is pretty big, uh, man. That's a good rocky elk. The biggest I've ever seen was two twenty, and I've only seen one person ever get one that big, which is pretty absurd. Like two twenty is huge, or five twenty. I mean, not two twenty. Yeah, five twenty is the biggest one that I've ever heard of. Probably not, Hunter Bishop. I mean, there's really no point in showing off like a moose. Ooh, that's a three. There's really no point in showing off a moose setup because everybody's map is going to be different in terms of what zones the animals choose to inhabit. And they move around constantly, so there really is no point in showing like a tent layout for a moose grind or anything like that because uh, it's going to be different for everybody. That's the thing a lot of people don't really understand about Call of the Wild is there's a lot of zones that animals could possibly be in, but your map will only have about half of them. So it's very hard to give like a universal tent layout uh, guide or anything like that. Oof. Oh, that's a bad troll. Oh, that's a bad troll. Two forty-one. Yikes! That might be the worst uh, troll we've had in thousands of kills. A wolf great one could be interesting, Neil.
Nice, Rambo. Holy. Nakalai did not think we would get him. Should I place my tents on drink zones for moose or? Ah, uh, you could. You can do the whole like technique where you have a tent on one zone, a tent on another, and then you travel between them to keep the other herd from rendering in. You could definitely do that. I mean, they definitely should, Denver, but I don't think that's a high priority for the uh, developers. Because there's a lot of other stuff that needs to be fixed first before doing something like that. The game's got a lot more issues that need to be fixed. Uh, JMP, could you please stop uh, spamming the same thing over and over again? Oh, it did, Dominic. Well, hopefully you can find it. All right, later, John. Just realized you have a 274.5 scoring whitetail. Nice, CDK. Um, the biggest one I've ever killed is 275.53. The biggest one that we've ever seen anybody kill is 276. But it's possible they could get even bigger than that. But currently, that is the uh, largest one known, is 276. The bear signal? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Quick, the bear signal. Yeah, it's definitely close, uh, TTK. I don't have one, Zachy. It's been over a year since, uh, since I had heard of it. The screenshots are long gone in the Discord channel, probably. Because I don't really save any uh, screenshots of, like, other people's trophies. What map is best for fallow deer? Uh, Tiawaroa. Definitely Tiawaroa. What do I think of the 30 out 6? It's great. Good gun.
Man. Whiffing those shots today. You spend a bunch of time hunting bison and the aim depreciates. Time do Merriam's turkey drink? They don't. There is no drink time for any of the uh, bird species in the game. There used to be one for the turkeys and then they got rid of it. Oh, oh gosh, don't watch guys. Oh gosh. Oh, we didn't even kill the first one. Oh my. Oh, it's all going downhill. Oh gosh. My eyes are burning after that one. I, I'm sorry that I subjected you guys to that terrible aim. Okay, that one wasn't me. That was the game. <laughs> that one was me. That, that was terrible. Oh, I'm zero. I was I was zeroed wrong. Oh gosh, it's just we're going downhill. <laughs> You're right, Caitlin. It could be worse. I could be hunting bears. Joking. To change the duck aim to deer aim, but my duck aim is still worse, so it's still duck aim. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caitlin. I, I had to do it. I couldn't resist. I had I had to take that moment to dunk on the bears. <laughs> Hey, Six Savage, how's it going? Hope you're doing uh, better than my aim is doing. Yeah, true. That was that was bad. Uh, yeah, Florian, we finish it up for today. We'll probably be back on the bison grind tomorrow. Maybe a few minutes ago? Wow, Nathan, I see how it is. I see how it is. I got a few decent deer. I think the big thing is I'm just used to the slow bison now. Need to get used to like the quick... Quick times of readjusting my aim. Nice, Flanky. Hopefully you had some good luck. Ah, floaters. If it's not the aim, it's the floaters. Why they be floating though? Couple good bucks down there. White tail are on the left half of the map, uh, John and Zane. Black tail are on the right half, so it depends on which side of the map you're playing on. Oh, you did, Johnny? Nice. That's awesome. Do 
239, that's a good deer. Not too bad, man. Hey, Gage, how's it going? Yeah, because whitetail don't exist on Mississippi, Zachy. <laughs> That's why there's no floaters. Because you can't even find a deer to shoot. Got a 299 moose. That's not bad, man. That's a very large moose. Exactly, TTK. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> can't have floaters if you don't have deer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Connor, I've had three on Rancho, actually. Uh, there is no best lake, AL. It's going to be different for everybody's uh, map. Like, uh, my best zones are not going to be the same for other people, right? Because everybody's map is a bit different in terms of the layout. Got a diamond turkey? Nice, Hunter. That's awesome. Do the gators still sink? Yes, they do. And I don't think they will ever change the gators sinking because it's actually realistic. I do find it really interesting, though, how like certain things they try to go for realism and then other things they don't really try to go for realism. Like... They wanted the gators to sink because it's realistic, but uh, at the same time, like none of our guns act realistically. Gosh, I was zeroed wrong again. What is up with me and like messing up the zero distance today? Easiest diamond? Uh, mountain lion. Definitely the mountain lion. Killed an albino turkey. Nice cruise. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Nice, mad rat. Hey, that's the way to do it, man. Those are some of the most uh, exciting diamonds because you just pick it up and it's like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. What is my favorite map? My favorite map is Tiabaroa. I don't know how drawn they're everywhere. Do you do a lot of hunting during their drink time? If you're hunting during their drink time, you should see plenty of level nines. I mean, I accidentally found a uh, diamond mountain lion while doing the bear grind. Oh gosh, Caitlin, they're just they're just flipping all over the place.
Yeah, it's 26 great ones overall, Jack, not just uh, Whitetail. It's uh, 17 Whitetail, and then six Red Deer, and three Moose. Sadly, no Black Bear great one. But the majority are Whitetail, because I, I hunt Whitetail more than anything. Love me some Whitetail. All right, later, Chase. Oh, you fast traveled away from them. That makes sense. We all agree the caribou and reindeer need the diamond to be 215 or 220. They definitely need uh, some type of a change to the uh, the diamond score. That is for sure. Is that a buck right there? Definitely is. Can't quite spot him either. Still got two down though. It'll be in a video, Xavier. You'll see it in the video. Gotta stay tuned for uh, whenever I post it. Three deer there. Oh, there's a few there. Did we get all? No, I think we didn't get vitals on that last one. That was definitely vitals, though. Wow, we actually hit every single deer at these two zones. And I think we killed most of them. Yeah, fish hook, I do. I always hunt the drink time for pretty much every single animal. Because it is just the most reliable, uh, reliable time to get them. Easiest great one grind to get your first great one? I would say the Tiawaro Red Deer grind. It's by far the easiest to set up for. And, uh... Red Deer give a ton of money as well, so if you're in need of like a 10 cent tripods for the grind, then you'll earn a ton of money to do that as you're grinding. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Glad you love the content. Couple to boop right there. I love it when they just line up perfect like that. Oh, I appreciate that, Matt. I appreciate that, dude. That's very nice of you. Tips for moose grinding? Be ready to search the entire map very often because moose move a lot. Oh, definitely, Nathan. If you don't have the recoil perk, you gotta go for it. It's so good. Honestly, I'm slightly surprised that there's not more people using it because it is really, really good. 
Well, I see a lot of people all the time that don't even use it. Oh, that's good, Johnny. Glad you're getting it working. Ooh. He had to turn. Ah, no, we're out of rounds. Gotcha, Nathan. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the recoil perk is a lifesaver. Like that right there, that shot was with no compensation at all. I didn't drag down on the mouse to compensate for recoil there, and you can see it doesn't bounce up that much. Like it's not bad at all. What map do I want next? I want either a Texas Game Ranch or Africa 2.0. I feel like at this point they gotta do one of those to really get people excited. Or Australia. Australia would be solid as well. I've now looked everywhere to find out Mountain Lion Drink Times. You're now my last hope. Mountain Lion Drink Time is starts at uh, 1 o'clock. So like, uh, well, technically 24. So once the clock strikes zero in game, that's when they start drinking. Boom. Three bucks down. Aggressive kangaroos. <laughs> oh, that'd be something. What is my favorite gun? This one right here, the 308. Amazing rifle. Uh, yeah, Colin, I would say it's one of the best for YTL. I'm using the 308 AR from the Modern Rifle Weapon Pack. This one and then also the M1 from the Smoking Barrels weapon pack are very similar in performance. Biggest difference is the 308 has less recoil. Matt, thank you so much for the gifted membership and congratulations to Ryguy. You just got gifted a membership. Enjoy all the uh, stuff that comes with that. Thank you so much, Matt. Really appreciate it, dude. Super, super generous of you. Oh, it's 12. We got to reset the time. What is my best kill? I mean, that is one of those questions where in terms of best, that is going to be subjective. Like everybody's going to have a different idea of what is my best trophy, right? I mean, in terms of rarity, I would say my best trophy would be my Melanistic Diamond Moose because it is definitely the rarest thing I have. Um, kind of in a way, Florian, not exactly. So usually animals in real life do have kind of a schedule that they stick to where they like to go for a drink at a specific time or they like to uh, search for food at a specific time, but it's a little bit more loose in real life. Like, they're not gonna be there at exactly, let's say, they're, they're not gonna be drinking at exactly, uh, 8 a.m. every single day. It may vary a little bit, depending on a lot of factors. 
But it is similar. No, the rarest thing I don't have, Zaki, is a diamond melanistic quail. That would be the rarest thing I don't have. Or diamond albino quail. Did I say melanistic? My brain is fried. I'm thinking moose still. Because I just mentioned the diamond melanistic moose. I don't even... I might have... I don't know what I said. But diamond albino quail. That's the rarest thing I don't have. Diamond melanistic pheasant would have to be up there as well. That's incredibly rare. I wish they did have Mellow Quail. That'd be nice. Too bad. What do I think is the coolest animal? Uh, personally, I've always liked the red deer the most. Red deer and white tail. That's a decent two. Giant spiders that could go aggressive. That would be interesting for an Australia map. I don't think they would do it, but that would be interesting if you had to watch out for deadly spiders biting your ankles. Nice, we actually got it. Ah, uh, more than I could ever remember, Alberni. It's impossible to keep track of all the moose zones and places they can be. A general rule of thumb for most moose grinds is check every inch of water. Because they can typically be across the entire map on all maps except Layton. Uh, you don't necessarily have to if you've got the M1, Colin. But the only thing that the 308 does better than the M1 is it's got less recoil, so it's easier to get follow-up shots. But they have the exact same kill time. I did a test a while back, and the M1 and the 308 kill Red Deer at the exact same speed with polymer tips from the exact same distances. The big difference was the recoil. The recoil of the 308 is considerably less. So it really depends. If that's uh, something you see as a important thing in a gun, then I'd say get it. If not, then you'll do fine with the M1. Couple little bucks there. Couple little buckaroos. You know what? Let's use the uh, M1 for a little bit. Since we're talking about it, let's go ahead and uh, use the M1. We've used the 308 for the majority of the grind. I think it's time we uh, break out the old M1. Got to get the Christmas look off of it, though. That's actually not bad. That's kind of sick. I think I like that. Oh, my game crashed. <laughs> Doing good, Call of the Wild. Doing good. <laughs> it was too much for the game to handle. If I could hunt anywhere for anything fishhook, I would do a New Zealand red deer hunt. It's been my dream ever since I was like 12.
The M1 is too much? It is. It's too much for the game to handle. It just couldn't handle the fact that we had such an epic M1 design. Oh, that does look so nice. Wow. I love this look. That's insanity. Also, we should have Hunt Club stuff. Yeah. So now we just got to do this right here. Wildlife down with one shot from a single shot rifle. Okay, that should be easy to do. All right, let's see. Ooh, the satisfying ping sound. The best part about the M1. One thing I find very interesting is the recoil with the M1 actually feels really different. It's like the entire gun kicks up more on screen versus like the 308 where like the screen moves with your scope but I've noticed with the M1 it's like the whole screen doesn't kick up as much but the scope just skyrockets out of your view that's weird it's so weird that those guns have different types of recoil what about this I mean 300 is about the same let me go back to the uh, 308 and let's compare them side by side I'm actually really interested to see because that that's kind of strange I didn't notice that before very very curious I, I, I put it there oh there it is okay that was weird Uh, the 300 comes with the Yukon Valley DLC. Yeah, the 454 is really strong, Allison. I love that handgun. Definitely one of my favorite handguns. Super good. Yeah, it's really good, Mr. Fox. It's a good map. Uh, no, BB Shots, it'll be zero. Which would be, uh, midnight, right? Midnight is when the, uh, mountain lions drink. Do you want muskox? I do, Connor. It's a top five animal I'd like to see them add. Hey, Blea, how's it going? You missed a diamond uh, European bison and a melanistic level one whitetail. That is what we've got so far today. All of them, Nathan, all of them. All of the barrels in Call of the Wild are smoking. Every single one of them is smoking in Call of the Wild. Because those whitetail, they just keep dropping. So naturally, there's going to be a couple barrels that are smoking. Glad you enjoy the content, uh, love. Glad you enjoy it. Alright, let's see what the recoil looks like on this. Yeah! that That's wild! Look at this. So... With the 308, you see how, like, the entire screen moves and the scope doesn't. The scope stays in the middle of your screen. 
And then you go to the M1 and the scope kicks up out of your screen. Okay, so that's another thing to take into consideration when deciding what gun to use. Like, what is going to be easier for you to keep on target with? Not going to lie, I think the M1 was easier to stay on target with right there. Do you like the 10 mil? Yeah, the 10 mil's great. Love the 10 millimeter. I have no idea where the other bucks went. I don't think we got good hits on them. Nice, Stone. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Glad that y'all enjoy the content. Number one animal I want added to the game, uh, the Pure David's deer. Easily the Pure David's deer. What should you use for moose hunting in Yukon? Uh, the 300. 300 Magnum is a beast for moose. Strongest gun in the game? Uh, the strongest gun in the game is the 470. Which the 470 is a part of the Verhunga Savannah DLC. Wait, where did... Ah, oh, it was no organs hit. Feels bad, man. It is, Nathan. It's very satisfying, man. Super satisfying. Oh, you're currently typing on the Steam Deck, Johnny? Is it difficult, or...? I imagine it's gotta be touchscreen, right? I think it's touchscreen. Haven't seen a deer in that zone in a while. Okay, not gonna lie, the M1's actually feeling better than the 308. I never noticed the difference in the way the recoil works. Like, this is actually, um... This is actually very, very nicely controllable. Even though the 300 has less recoil overall, I think because it kicks up the entire camera instead of just the scope kicking up, it's actually worse. I mean, I like both of them. But I'm definitely noticing stuff I didn't notice before about the M1 uh, versus the 308. I didn't realize the, uh, the difference in the actual way the recoil looks. That's pretty crazy. That's a weird deer.
Any diamonds or rares? Yeah, we got a level one melanistic whitetail, and we also got a diamond European bison. That's another weird deer. What's up with the strange box, man? Yeah, the M1's actually feeling really nice right now. Yeah, that one just died, so it's going to be really far away. So many strange and wonky deer. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what a weird deer. Crazy. When is my next live? There will be another live stream tomorrow on Call of the Wild. Nothing there. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, end the stream there, guys. We might end up doing another live stream later tonight on Tarkov. I'm going to talk to Kill Clinton and see if he's going to be streaming it today. Um, and I'll probably talk to John as well, see if he wants to join. So we might end up doing a stream tonight. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I will uh, see y'all in the next stream. Hope y'all had fun. Thank you for 97K, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.